Hey guys, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make pimp necklaces. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, I got my hemp right here. Now, this is like hemp twine, and uh, it's, it's like more ropey. But anyways, it works a lot better for me because when you get it wet, it doesn't like fall apart like actual hemp does. So, um, this is what I use. It's about like this thick. It's not that, it's not super thick, but it's a perfect size. Um, so I use this as a base. You just kind of whatever, however long you want the necklace, you can just cut it however long. I usually do shoulder from hand to other hand, so like, I usually do this or something, depending on how long you want it, or I do this, and you see, you leave a little bit of space at the end to determine how the loop is going to be and the knot. So usually if you want your necklace like right here, that's where it's going to end up, then you have the extra to make your button or whatever you put on the end to keep it attached. Okay, so I got my base, and then you have to get your two pieces of long rope, and you want to have it as long as possible usually, so then that you don't ever have to like add on more, because if you're making a long necklace, it's, you're going to have to make your uh, two other sides really long, so then you have enough rope. Um, anyways, you want to make them both the same size. Both the same size. Um, and then, what you do, how to make a knot, you just put them together like this, all your string, three strings. Put them together, I usually go like this, and I make it into a loop like this. I take that loop, and I just wrap it around and stick it like, in the hole. <laughs> and usually that's and you gotta pull it really tight so it stays. See? That's how I usually do it and then it'll be like that excess string. Anyways I cut that off. So you want to make sure that the knot is nice and tight so that it doesn't fall apart. Um, let's take this one off. Anyways, cut off all the other strings. And usually, um, depending on how you want to uh, get it started, you can either like Put it in between your feet and go like this and hold the bottom of it so then it's nice and tight because you have to have a grip otherwise your uh, your necklace is going to turn out really bad so you need to have it nice and straight when you're making it. Anyways, get your base and usually what I do I just put it in my mouth and you take both of the sides and you have them like this. Now there's two different styles. Um, I call the twisted one, I call it DNA style. And then the other one is uh, just straight, whatever. Um, to make the straight kind, you have to use both of the strings at different, like, you have to use this string and then you use the second string. Um, and then if you want to make the DNA style, you just use the same string over and over again. The straight, go like this, use the other string, go like this. I mean, you'll get the point which I show you. Okay, so I'm gonna do a DNA style, because that's my favorite. Anyways, you're gonna make a four like this. You just leave it hanging here. Anyways, you take the string, make sure it's over this one right here. You're gonna take it, make it over, and then you're gonna make it under this, and you're gonna pull it through the four. Anyways, it's going to be like this, and then we have to make sure this is tight, so that when you pull this down, it comes out perfect. Okay. 
and usually I do this pretty fast all the time, so. <laughs> uh, the bigger the hemp, the faster it goes. The smaller the hemp, the longer it takes. But anyways, it's really easy to get the hang of it. And when you want to add beads, it gets kind of hectic. Just because if you have small hold holy bean, like beads, if you have like beads and the the beads hole inside, it's like too small for the hemp, it kind of sucks, but usually I get the beads that have the big holes inside, so then like I can fit it inside this. Um, but anyways, this is how it turns out, see, it's kind of starting. Um, you just keep doing that, and you'll eventually add on a bead. And then you just go over that bead, just keep doing it. Put in the bead, go it again, do it again. It's like super easy. Um, in the middle, wherever, put your little pin net. This is an elephant, so I'm making this one for my friend. Adding on the beads. So, it's pretty simple actually. Okay. Um, so you have the bead and the metal string. Um, Anyway, so that's how I do my beads. You just kind of do that. Other people just kind of like stick all the all three of those strings inside the bead, but I don't usually do that because I like the whole like outside strings going around the bead. Uh, it just looks cool that way. Um, but that's putting on the pendant. Same thing. That's a bead. Obviously, I ran into the dilemma of running out of string. So, I'll show you what to do with that. Basically, you just grab. There you go. Oh. You just grab your hemp and cut. Tie the whatever piece that's really short. You tie it into a knot. So, tie it into that knot and make sure it's super tight so they don't come apart. It's really easy. Um, sorry, my phone just keeps going off. Um, so you do that. However long you want your piece to be, cut it. Whatever, no big deal. I'm gonna cut it like to like right here. Pretty long because you still have ways to go. Um, and then you get your other piece that's really short. The same thing. Tie it into the knot. Make sure it's tight. And cut it. You usually want to cut it until it's around the same size as the other piece. So you don't like run out of string with the other one. I don't know. Okay. So I got that. And you know, you see these little ghetto strings like hanging off the knot. You just cut those off. But you gotta make sure your knot is tight, so, because if it's not, then it's just gonna come apart. Anyways, you cut these off. <sighs> I 
Some scissors are pretty sharp. <laughs> okay. Then, your problem is solved and you just keep continuing on on your necklace. Okay, so when you're at the end, you're gonna realize you're gonna need something to go through this. <laughs> um, so usually you want to do is test out how, um, the bead, if it can fit through this first. So, look, it obviously can. So, what you're gonna do is tie it, you're gonna put it on the middle string that you still have. through and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this take this middle string and make a knot with it. Make sure it's as close to the bead as possible so it doesn't look retarded. <laughs> and you can if the hole's too big and you think it's gonna go through you can always make a double knot. Okay, so that's done. So you have these like little guys hanging off still. Usually what I do is make this kind of tie, a little tie to make sure that none of this hemp slides down. Um, and after you do that, you just come off, put all this excess strings off. with your necklace. See?